Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. Well, just this afternoon, I got a couple of packages delivered. They are from Swamp Industries. And that's where I buy, well, most of my gear, you know, usually cables and connectors and things like that. So I've got a box and a package arrived. So let's have a look what's inside them. Okay, the first package. Let's open it up. I ordered this earlier this week and it arrived by Friday. Aha, some new goodies for the studio. Okay. A couple of long USB leads that I need to connect some gears. There you go, they're all shielded. USB cables, nothing major. Uh, a couple of plugs. And uh, this is what I've been waiting for for some time. Initially, I actually ordered the wrong one. And Swamp Industry says just return it and we'll replace it with the one you want because I chose the wrong one. I just couldn't be bothered sending it, so I just bought a new one. And it is a new microphone suspender shock mount. This is for my uh, one of my microphones which doesn't have a shock mount and I hope it will actually fit. So, yeah. I'll just put that in there for now. Now my microphone has somewhere to sit. Okay, let's open up the big box. Okay, just got it out of the box. There it is there. It's a stage snake. What did you think it was going to be? A real snake? Yeah, okay. I, 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 I did make a clickbait. Yes, that's right. I made a clickbait. But <laughs> I had to do it. Okay, anyway. Um, I'm sure this will be interesting. So this is uh, a snake stage snake that's what it's called or a stage box where it allows you to connect um, multiple microphones in its box this one also has a couple outputs as well it's input and output and it's got a long sort of thick lead and on the other end it's got lots of cables where you connect to the mixer this probably sit next to the drum where I can connect short leads of XLR cables from the mic drum microphones and plug it into uh, here. And it's got outputs as well, so I can use those outputs for anything. But I'm planning actually to use those outputs because they are balanced TRS outputs to actually have them as maybe headphone outputs. Or if I'm recording an, a, a guitar, electric guitar, I can use that to reamp you know, send signal back out into there to the reamping it, you know, whatever reason. It's just XLR input and output as well as TRS jack output. And on the other end, cables go in. So it nicely will go across my studio into the mixer from the behind of the mixer, which I will show you in a minute. If you might have seen in my previous video when I mic'd up my drum, there were seven cables running around and just plugging into the mixer. Yeah, that was mess. And you really don't want sort of messy cables around, especially if you have clients coming in, they want to record, you know, they can trip over it. It just looks messy. So I thought uh, rather than getting high quality cables, because those cables weren't the best, I thought I might as well for the price, end up buying a stage box or snake stage snake um, <laughs> um, and use it that way it's just much neater and cleaner and a better option and uh, rather than 
paying you know anywhere between uh, 40 or 50 dollars per cable and I need like at least eight of them so that's quite a lot where this one cost me 200 dollars that's Australian dollars for um, six meter I think cable which is plenty to go from here from the middle of my studio to behind the uh, mixer and plug it in so this is my mixing desk and all the cables will come from the back and plug in to the top of my mixer freeing up all this area for me to work unlike last time I had cables running from from the front from the ground coming up all the way and big plugged in I mean it was for test purposes but I can't use that if I've got people recording here cables running around everywhere so let's have a closer look at this baby it is from Swamp Industries well this one got eight inputs so my short microphone cables from the drum will actually go and plug into here and it also has four outputs so and they are XLR as well as TRS outputs so if I need to plug something as an output I can plug it in there these ones could be maybe even headphone outputs uh, for the drummer so I don't have to run headphone leads all the way from my headphone amplifier um, I can just plug it straight right here and the drummer will just plug into here with a short lead and everything is in there or if I need to have maybe some something else as an output like monitors or if I'm running let's say reamping the guitar I can actually have the output here into my reamp uh, module so I can reamp a guitar being played and so on so it's got lots of useful options in here with eight inputs and four outputs it's long enough cable it's nice and thick it's well built it's all metal construction and strain relief over here as well from the cable so it's nice and thick to release any strain I mean this is not gonna be on a stage where um, you know it's going to be dropped about everywhere but still that's nice to know and let's have a look the other end again another strain relief so I need to create some hook while the cable is coming up from the ground to hook it up to relieve the strain of the cables being plugged in so I can uh, get plugged in and the wires go straight into the mixer again nice cables they all look really great you know XLR cables a couple of TRS leads and a couple of uh, XLR outputs as well yeah so um, it'd be very very handy well that's it it's if you have a setup in your home studio like me like drums or um, even guitars multiple guitars and things and you want to record a small band um, rather than running all those wires around in your studio already small enough and you don't want sort of cables running around everywhere maybe a stage box might be the cheaper option to uh, to run it I mean it costs about um, two hundred dollars which is much cheaper than trying to buy eight quality XLR cable which I think this is about six meters long in six meters I worked it out that it's much much cheaper and I already have quite a few lots lots of uh, short uh, two meter length XLR cables that I always use anyway so um, it's it's a perfect uh, sort of solution to a problem that you don't want it to exist you know I hate running through cables and walking over cables and run this cable run that cable even if I've got guitars and things usually they be around this vicinity so rather than running a cable into the mixer just get them to plug in here and I take care of the mixer from there so that way as I mentioned there's no cables running over the mixer or I need to have access from the behind it's just messy this is a great solution just an idea not a real snake but um, that's what they call stage snake sorry about the clickbait <laughs>
anyway next time i will show you the actual unit the stage snake in use make sure you give me the thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel as always thanks for watching and have a great time making music cheerio guys